I'm 37 now, and I don't know how else to explain it. My mother tried to kill me. My dad's a child molester. My mother tried to kill me. I see crash cart meds. She stole. And I have a toxicology report. That's the whole reason I moved to West Virginia in 2012 from Raleigh. She got divorced again in Saudi Arabia, and now she can't remember shit. It happens. You're a bad person. And I, I'm undeterred from all the facts I have about him being a child molester. How about the facts? He blocked me from speaking, from trying to talk to the parents who are immigrants. But he says, don't even speak English. He refused to even let me try when I demanded to speak to the parents. Stupid shit. You know, it's like, I'm not sitting here homeless for 400, 500, 89 days and carrying on about my Aunt Donna burning the biscuits, which she probably does. I ain't carrying on about my Aunt Nora being behind on the power bill. She probably is. We put a lot of bright fluid in that Lincoln Town car. Stupid shit is all the boners can do. And I'm sick of it. But we say this and like the governor of West Virginia has like 600 pounds and brought his dog's asshole to govern. That's the best the boomers can do. And they did it again with Senator Joe Manchin, who really has a video of him in a Maserati SUV bothering pedestrians after he also bothered people when he made a drug, saved people's lives, used to cost $100, and then Joe Manchin got a hold of it and it started taking $600 or more. And the boomers still elected him. So this is what happens when you end up with stupid boomers, elected other stupid boomers, and Tom Acosta gets involved with WV Medicine. Thanks.